question is what's the maximum length of an ILDA cable? Let's just give it a try. The initial cable is 10 meters, so this is what I get if I plug in a 10 meter ILDA cable. This is just uh, the normal projection result. So we add another 25 meters. See, this is a proven ILDA cable. It's been on the road for quite a while and it's working pretty well. Um, it's a low resistance cable, so pretty good one. So we add another 25 meters, so we are 35 meters now, and you see it's still a very good result. 35 meters possible. We add another 25 meters. So it's 60 meters, and it's still doing well. Let's get more. Another 25 meters. Here we go. So we're at 85 meters. I need to pile that up now. Okay, we're at 110 meters now. Thirty-five meters. <clears throat> and one hundred sixty meters. So, yeah, I ran out of cables I prepared. So, one hundred sixty meters, still doing well so far. Basically, the first thing that you would see if the ILA cable is too long or is of too bad quality, you will see that the scanners start flickering because the scanners are the ones that have don't get enough power and may probably run into issues. So we try to, to simulate that by driving the scanner pretty hard and see if it's still doing well. We did 160 meter ILA cable and the projection is still running and it still works. But these are pretty, pretty good ILDA cable. So these are very low resistance ILDA cable. There is a lot of ILDA cables in the market that are not that good quality. So, uh, so it may happen if you have a bad quality ILDA cable, you may only run about 50 meters. So make sure you have the quality ILDA cables, then you can do 100 meters or even more, as you have seen now, 160 meters and it's still going longer.